Hello, y'all. Let's talk to me, put this up. How y'all doing this morning? You guys got a noise in the sawmill this morning. I don't know how to make the sound. You're going bink, 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 bink. What it is, I'm thinking, I'm not positive. I think it's the bearing on the idler's side. I changed the bearing on the other side. And these wood mines or sawmills are coming with them China bearings. That's all they can get at this time. And they're not lasting. They're having problems with them. You guys, I'm going to try to show you how to change them out. And I'm going to... It's, it's hard to tell. There could be so many different things that are wrong. But I'm going to let you listen to the sawmill and see if you can hear this sound. And I'm about 90, 95% sure this is what it is. dust cover on the side of the bearing will come off and then you can actually see what's going on you know it's bad then this is in the first stages of it though it's just got a, a vibration to it and you can hear like the bearing just squeaking like it ain't got no grease in that bearing but it, it's hard to tell exactly what that is but like i said i think that's what it is all right this is the bearing that goes on them wheels i know the lt40 and the 15 lt15 is the exact same bearing the 6207 burn takes two of them. This one right here is a burn that I had. A little bit better burns. As long as it's the same size inside and out, you're good. See, this one's good. You can put a snap ring on the outside, but it's the exact same burn. What's the problem, Wayne? Yeah, as you can tell, you can see right there, bearings has come apart on that. You see this little ring right here? That's supposed to be your seal ring over your seal bearings. Well, it knocked it out because of the bearings come apart right there in the back, they busted. Last time it was on the outside, you could actually see it. This time it's on the inside. Well, we're going to show you how we change these burdens out. What you doing now? Got to take this snap ring out, which it would be so much easier if we had snap ring pliers, but we, got some. we, we just gotta find don't. Them. We, did, we got some. There's some in there. Well, I found some, but they Too ain't small. got the uh, tips to them. Them ain't gonna work either. They going just backwards. Got right. Found some more. When all else fails, go back to the old school way when you didn't have all them fancy tools. Let me grab another set. I had to set the camera down to help Wayne out. Once you get that snap ring out, where'd you put the snap ring, Wayne? I put it right here. All right, this is the snap ring. It goes right there. You take that snap ring out and you flip it over in that bearing. There's two bearings together that drive out this side. So you got to flip it over. Hello, tiger. And if you can find a socket that fits this right here, right, it's a lot easier just to drive out with a socket. 
We'll see what we can find. Uh, we got a big socket we're putting on it. It's actually should be a little bit bigger. But it ain't gonna hurt nothing to drive it out. If the tears are bearing up, it don't matter. What's gonna happen? One bearing out. And there's the bearing that has come all apart. That's the way it should have looked. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you this bearing. Let it focus. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. See what that says? Come on, phone, focus. China. They're cheaper burning and they do not last. All right, guys, we run into a little problem. The idler side is not a 67 old, what it was, some 67 old. I can't hardly read it. Uh, I bet you can't read it either, huh, Wayne? I think I'll go 60, get some glasses on. I might can read it. Drive side is a 6207. The idler side is a 6305. I don't have these burns. I got to run to town to get one. A little bit smaller burn. Let me go get the burns. All right, y'all. I'm back. I had to run to town, get some burns. I'm gonna show you the difference in these burns, and I'll tell you the difference in the price. But look what happened while I was gone. All right, we changed this out off of that sawmill. That's the LT40. It's the LT15. We got Wayne to swap them out while I was gone. That way we can keep running. LT40, LT15, exact same burns, same rollers, same belts. All right, I went to the porch store, and this is what I found. This is the bearing that I need. 63052RS. This one, and this is a national. Okay, the difference in these burns... That is your national baron. That is your parts master. That is a China baron. This is American made baron. This baron right here is 40 bucks. This baron from the parts house is $8. But you change this baron out every time you turn around. These are good barons. There's several different kinds. See how it's got the metal frame? It's just a lot better baron. You're not doing this every time you turn around. American made is always better. China is cheaper, though. Whatever you can get. Wayne, let's get it swapped out. Well, Wayne's been wide open trying to swap, get everything going. He got that other roller off, off the LT40. Put it on here, and he's been running while I'm gone. I just got back. We'll show you how we put them together. Now, I'll tell you people one thing I had to do that I don't like to do. I pull that pulley off that other machine had to put it on this in here well i checked my shaft where my bearings rolled i had a little bit of a rough spot on it i like to polish that out but i didn't have no emery cloth to polish it out so i had to put the other pulley on it but when i pull this pulley back off and put this one back on there i will take me a piece of emery cloth and I will polish that shaft where that way you feel no little old bitty grooves in it at all. So that way everything slides smoothly and works better. So always remember, just because your bearing's bad and you change that, that don't mean everything else is good. You need to check your shaft too. Make sure you have no grooves or nothing in your shaft. And if you do, polish them out.
make them smooth again. What you think about that, Mom? Well, I ain't heard the sawmill running. So I was coming to see what y'all were doing out here, playing around, not getting no work done. When the mill don't run, I don't get no money. I don't get no money. I don't get to go nowhere or go shopping something. So y'all better get to cutting. Wayne, I don't want to take you all day to get Jared, fix that today. mill and uh, get behind it and start pushing it. Let's get her done. No, I can't. We need to get a little work out of you. I work all the time. My jaws. You do run that mouth. <laughs> well, guys, we're going to watch Wayne put this back together. I'm going to put the good bearing to the inside. Ten for it, and you'll be able to see that one when it starts going bad. We got a rubber mallet. Yep. There's a face on the back side where you just make sure you drive it all the way down. Then your snap ring goes back in the front. We got snap ring in there, it's just not all the way down. You'll hear it snap. Boop. I heard it go in. Let me go put that one back on Bradley's mill over there, and I'll get the emmer cloth and clean that up. This is what Wayne was talking about. Get some regular emery cloth. Clean it up a little bit. Makes it a lot easier to slide back on. Takes all the burrs off. It slid right on there, guys. We ain't done had it on before I could get the camera up. Slid on there just like it was supposed to after polishing that shaft a little. Tighten that little screw on the outside. That's what, half inch? Yep. Half inch, tighten it up, put the belts on, we'll be rolling again. We're gonna fire it up, see if it sounds a little better. Y'all can hear that noise that was going on with that mill a while ago. But once you start running these mills a while, you listen for them sounds. When, when you start getting a bearing or anything going out, it makes a different sound. I mean, it had a little bit of a vibration in it and just made a noise. Just like driving a tractor or any kind of equipment you're running, listen. And noise, when you keep running something for so long, when you get a different sound, you know something's wrong. Guys, I hope this video helped you out a lot. Remember, them two bearings are right on top of each other. They both go out the, I say it'd be the back side, the opposite side, the same side as your, or front side, same side your snap ring's on. Take your snap ring off, both bearings come out, both of them go back in, snap ring back on. It's very easy to change out once you know how to, once you've done it before. The first time I done it, I didn't know that they both come out the same side. It took me a little while to get it off, but that's all there is to it. Guys, I hope this helps you out. God bless. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, Wayne. Jared said you gotta grow. It ain't quit playing around out here. We gotta go. Shit, ain't no playing around.
Boss said we gotta go to work. She's trying to make it happen. But she ain't been hearing nothing going on out here. She's ready. She's gotta hear that sawmill running. Gotta buy them babies some new shoes. Later, y'all.